program, do you think it's okay that you're working for a brothel that's working out of a housing commission home? Can we speak to your boss? Who, who actually runs the brothel? Excuse me, do you actually run the brothel? No, we don't work for a brothel. Perhaps not a brothel, but this young woman was working for a call girl service. A hinge crew exposed the business which is operating out of 15 Malta Crescent in Wagga, a public housing commission home. Hello, is this a call girl service? I was wondering if I can have a girl for tonight. A call by the Hinch team to the house earlier in the night established that a girl would be available to come to a motel room. The woman who answered the phone also offered the information that a stripper was being organised for a bucks night out at the nearby army recruitment base at Kapuka. The house from which Chantilly's escort service operates is in a quiet suburban street next door to a Baptist church. Residents are upset and worried about the operation but were afraid to appear on television. While the business isn't illegal, it's operating from a housing commission home and at $70 for half an hour for a girl, it's no doubt making a considerable amount of money. While it's quiet during the day, at night the activity steps up. How often do you come round here for call girls? For call girls? Oh, I don't need one thing. Beauty. You just help run the business? No, don't go make an accusation. But no one was willing to talk to us about the business. Can you tell us why you're running a call girl service from here? Well, to see, there's not one being run from here. We've... Have you seen the little boy inside? So you've got two children living here, have you? Not only are neighbours unhappy about the situation, but Wagga City Council is also concerned about the escort service. There's such a risk now with AIDS hanging like a sword over our heads. And I think it's quite undesirable, particularly in a residential area, that an operation like an escort agency should be tolerated. It might be legal, but I mean, uh, being legal and being uh, suitable for conduct in a residential area, uh, I think it's another thing. Chantilly's is a registered business run by Andrea Page and Tony Valence. When the New South Wales State Housing Department found out that the business was operating from one of its premises, it moved quickly. We've obtained an eviction authority. Uh, what that means is that the people living in the home um, will be out by the end of the month and we'll be evicting them. What do you think's wrong with having a call girl service operating from a housing commission home? From where I sit, I'm basically about providing public housing and that our houses should be utilised for, for people in most need. If people want to conduct a business of that nature, they can do it somewhere else, but certainly not in a department of housing home. So the late night activity will soon die out in Malta Crescent. The neighbours can expect a return to a quiet suburban street. One of the worst aspects of that story is the fact that a toddler is apparently living in that house. And incidentally, the state member for the seat of Wagga happens to be Mr Joe Shipp, the Minister for Housing.